Hello, everybody. So this is for algebra two, sort of the pens being a little stubborn. And it's looking at uh, writing, writing systems of equations. And this is what it looks like in delta math. And what you're going to need to do is decide what some variables stand for and then set up two equations. You don't have to solve them. You just have to set them up. So what we're looking at here is you've got some tacos and burritos that are being sold. So you have to define some variables. How about T is going to be tacos? And I should back up. It's the number of tacos sold. And B, number of burritos. So it's the quantity of burritos sold. OK? So what you have to do is you have to define the variables. So how about T is equal to, and you have to choose. So it would be the number of tacos sold. Notice, you guys, that it's not the price of either of those or the number of items sold or anything like that. Yet it's being very specific. So then B is the, would be the number, number, the quantity of burrito sold. Okay. So let's look at some of the data then that they give us. There was a total $790 that was brought in. So that would be total sales. There's 475 for a taco and 750 for a burrito. So tacos cost 475 and burritos cost uh, 750. So I'm pulling information out. Okay, and what I'm writing here is nothing official. I mean, it's not, um, I was going to say official, but it's not like it's, it's organized in any special way other than I'm defining the variables and then pulling out the information that's useful. Now, <clears throat> um, from all the burritos and tacos sold, so, and there were twice as many burritos sold as there were tacos. Now remember, this is quantity, right? There were twice as many burritos sold as tacos. So if I'm going to set something up that's an equality, because remember, we need two equations, like some of the ones that you guys did was like this, x minus 7, y is equal to 12. I need two separate equations. I need two separate equations. Let's see what we got. There were twice as many burritos sold as tacos. Now these are the quantities. Twice as many burritos as tacos. This is not true. I know that's what the language is saying, but this is not true. This is the number of burritos sold and the number of tacos sold. This is the true statement. I know they said twice burritos, but that is not the equality. If this is the quantity of tacos, if I double the quantity of tacos, that's how many burritos I would have, okay? If I doubled the quantity of tacos, so here it said there were twice as many burritos sold. So wouldn't there be half the number of tacos as burritos? Right, so if I want an equality, I need to double the tacos to get the burritos, okay? So let's start there. Let's go burritos equals uh, two tacos. Now, let's bring the price into it. The price. 475 for tacos and 750 for burritos. So if I did $4.75 times each of the, the quantity of tacos plus 750 times the price of the burrito, I should get a total of $790. So you type that in. So you go 4.75 tacos plus 750 burritos equals 790. Okay, and let's see what happens. Boom, we got it. Okay, new problem. Let's go over here. Let's erase all that. High school basketball player, in a particular game, he made some three point shots 
and assign free throws worth one point each. <clears throat> three point shots and one point shots. So three points and one point shots. Okay. And you had a total of nine shots altogether. Okay. So um, there were three point shots and one point shots. We need to distinguish between them. Um, I don't have a good, act, you know, I'm not. Um, free throws is the number of one point shots. Um, so what do you want to call three point shots? Uh, how about T for three? This is the number of three point shots. Okay. You can use X and Y. It doesn't matter. You don't have to come up with, it doesn't matter the variables that you use. We just are defining them as quantities. Okay. And we had a total of nine shots together. Okay. These are quantities of shots. So F plus T has to be equal to nine because they were the number of free throws and the number of three point shots, the quantities of those has to equal nine. So that one was easier to, to get than the last one. Now, uh, and scored a total of 23 points. Okay, one point times the number of free throws plus three points times the number of three point shots should equal a total of 23 points. Now, do we really need the one times there? No, but I just did that to illustrate the point. Okay, there's your two equations. So let's pick. How about T? And it's going to be uh, the number, no, uh, not attempted, the number of three point shots made. And what do we say? F is going to be the number of free throws made. Okay, system of equations, F plus T, whoops, plus T equals nine. We got a lower place T, sorry about that. And let's see, it was one times F, so just F plus three T equals 23. New problem. Um, let's clear this out. Okay, a law firm is going to designate associates and partners to a new big case or a big new case. Sorry, I read it backwards, so my dyslexia kicked in. The daily rate charge for the client for each associate is $800 and the daily rate for each partner is $1,300. A law firm assigned three more partners than associates. Okay. When you go to, so this would be, oops, do the pen. Partners and associates. And this is the quantity of them. So the theme so far, you guys should see is that we're always talking the quantity of them. Not the value of them, the quantity, okay? It's the number of partners. And this would be the number of associates, okay? O-C-I-A-T, yes. Associates, okay? Um, daily rate charge, so $800 and $1,300. Oops, 800 for associates, is that right? and 1,300 for partners. The law firm assigned three more partners than associates. Okay, there were three more partners than associates. Now, in order to set that equal to each other, the quantity of them, it would be associate plus three is equal to the number of partners, or partners minus three is the number of associates. Either way, these aren't the two equations, but you can express them either way. You can see it just by subtracting three from the other side. Okay, so that's one of the equations. Now we're going to talk cash. So um, we would charge a client twelve thousand three hundred dollars per day for these lawyer services. So eight hundred dollars times the number of associates plus thirteen hundred dollars times the number of partners is going to be times it's going to be the 12,300 so let's go through and pick some letters so p and then it's going to be the quantity 
the number of partners designated. Okay. Um, a associates. So that would be the number of associates. Okay. So then we got eight plus three equals P, and we've got eight hundred A plus thirteen hundred. I don't know if it's going to like that comma, so I'm going to take it out. 1300 um, P is equal to 12300. Okay. There we go. So I think what you've seen enough examples here, I'm not trying to draw out this video, but what we've done is that all of them so far, we've talked about it's a quantity of something, a quantity, a quantity. And there's this relationship and then something with dollar amounts. Okay. So uh, if you guys have questions, come on and get some help. I'll be glad to help you. Thanks for your time. Time.